Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to expand brackets. Only just one pair of brackets, there'll be another video another time for expanding double brackets or two pairs of brackets. So let's start with what looks like a bar model. I have an unknown number which I will call x and I add a number to it. What, what shall I add? Um, I'll add 10. Okay, so I've got x add 10. Let me write that in an algebraic form. x add 10. Hopefully you can see this. x add 10. Okay, now then, what happens if I double it? It would look like this, wouldn't it? I'd have x plus 10 and another x plus 10. And if I triple it, I would have that. And if I quadruple it, I would have that. And if I times it by 5, I would have that. Okay, so how could I write that? I could write that like this. I've times all of this by 5. Even better would be if I wrote 5 right next to the brackets, because that's more economical. Okay, there we go. So hopefully you can see that that's 5 lots of x plus 10. Another way to look at it, though, which is slightly different, is that I've got x, 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 and x, so that would be 5x. And I've also got 10, 10, 10, 10, and 10, so that's adding on another 50. So there's two ways to look at this, this whole diagram. You can look at it as 5 lots of x plus 10, or you can look at it as 5x plus 50. And I can go from one to the other. I can switch from this way of writing it to this way of writing it very easily. And that's called expanding brackets when I do that. And the way to do it would be to do 5 times that term and 5 times that term. Let's see where that comes from. 5 times the first one, 5 times x, comes from all of these. And then 5 times the second term gives you all of these, 50, 5 lots of 10. And so when you expand the brackets, which is sometimes called multiplying out the brackets, multiplying out the brackets, you'll, you might see it written that way as well. When we do that, what you get is no more brackets, they've gone, and 5x plus 50. Okay. Another example, I'm going to use my unknown number, I'm going to, so I'm going to use the letter P as my unknown number. So each of these is P, we don't need to keep writing it, because the first green one tells you that one's P. And over here, we're going to add, what should we add? Let's add, let's add 5, just to keep numbers simple for now. So I could write that algebraically and I would write 3p plus 5. Okay, because I've got p, p and p, so I've got 3p and then adding 5 on at the end. Now if I was to double all of this, then it would look like that. I'd have two lots of, the, of 3p plus 5, and then if I tripled it, it would look like that. And if I times it by 4, it would look like that. So how could I write that algebraically? Well, that would look like this. 4 brackets 3p plus 5, and that stands for 4 lots of the whole lot of brackets. Okay, so there is another way to look at it, as we were looking at before. If this is p, 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 then this is all. P, 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 and so is this, so is this, so what have I got all together? I've got 12P, 12 lots of P, and here in the yellow or orange boxes I've got a load of fives, five, five, five and five. In other words, that's 20 being added on, 12P plus 20. So again, here we've got a version with the brackets, here we've got something that's worth exactly the same but not using brackets. And as I said before, you can go from one to the other simply by multiplying whatever's on the outside, whether it's a number or a whole term, by 
each of the terms on the inside. Okay, so 4 times 3p gives you 12p, and 4 times 5, 4 times add 5, gives you add 20. So you get 12p plus 20. So, just to be clear, if the question was asking or saying expand the brackets and it gave you 4 brackets, 3p plus 5, close brackets, you would just need to write 12p plus 20. And here are some examples. Expanding the brackets, also known as multiply the brackets. 6 brackets 3g take away 9, so you do 6 times 3g gives you 18g. If you're not sure about why that's 18g then click on the bubble that's just appeared and that will take you to a video about multiplying um, variables and numbers together. So once you've done that one you would do the second term 6 times take away 9 will give you the same as take away 54. So our final answer is 18g minus 54. You're not being asked to solve it, so there's there's no need for you to say g equals something. In fact, you can't at this stage because you don't have any more information. That's all you need to write. 18g take away 54. Okay, let's apply the same process a bit more quickly to these next two examples. 6g times 3g gives you 18g squared, and then times it by the second term, and you get take away 54g and that is the final answer and then in the third one 6a times 3g gives you 18ag because we did 6 times 3 and then times a times g and then do 6a times take away 9a which gives you take away 54a squared Okay, just for fun, I'll throw in another example which looks quite similar. Um, 6a take away 3g take away 9a plus 4. It's exactly the same process. You times the term on the outside by each of the terms on the inside. So 6a times 3g gives you 18ag as it did before. 6a times take away 9a gives you take away 54a squared as it did before and then the last one 6a times add 4 gives you add 24a okay that is the end of the video on expanding brackets thanks very much for watching bye